Hi, this is Delta Lima 2, Mike Alpha November, <clears throat> and I wanted to show you uh, my QCX SSB mod by Papa Echo 1 November November Zulu. Uh, this is the original QCX by Hans Summers uh, from QRP Labs. Um, the original circuit here uh, is feature packed, and a lot of the, the features are. Uh, inside the hardware. Um, this is monoband and uh, in, in my case I have a 4D meter version and it's uh, CW and uh, DSPR, uh, sorry, WSPR capable. It's a great little rig and as I do most of the time only CW, why upgrade to SSB or why do SSB? Um, well, I'm, I'm going to show you my SSB modified uh, QCX kit. As you can see, there's a lot less going on on the PCB. Um, as you can see, the, the transformer is missing. There is a lot of parts missing. I built this thing from, uh, I bought a new kit from Hans and uh, built it only for for this mod. Um, I have 20 meter QCX and 40 meter QCX and this one was bought especially for SSB modification because I thought it was fun. But I wanted to know as a CW operator if this thing is capable and uh, since I did not find anything on the internet, I wanted to show you what it's uh, capable of and what to expect from the modification and uh, in some later videos perhaps how to build them. And I'm going to show you some fun stuff. And just for fun, this are the remaining parts from the QCX kit I bought. Uh, this is left over. About 70 parts you don't need to put on the PCB. That's a great thing, I think. Now let's have a look at the QCX SSB itself. As you as you can see, there are a lot of, lots of parts missing. We have uh, earphones as usual. This is the uh, programming interface for you to, to put the firmware on the microcontroller, which is below the display. Um, firmware is open source. It does digitally SSB modulation in class E power amplifier, which I think has not been done before. And therefore really chapeau to Guido for trying this, doing this. And it really was, works uh, quite well, which I will show you in a minute. This is a uh, jack for uh, key in my case, or Kia, external Kia I, I have here. And, um, You can also plug in external microphone, which I modified with this plug and you need to yeah, change the, um, the pin setting. But it works, I, I tried it, it works uh, with SSB on transmit. And of course you can also uh, put in computer stuff like FT8 or, or something like that. Uh, this thing is fully uh, SSB capable with only roughly about 70 parts and just to mention it uh, for the kit costs around 50 bucks that's that's really great ah uh, yeah and the best thing I did not tell you yet um, <laughs> it is multiband capable if you like to um, let's take a look at my other QCX this is the, uh, behind the transistors, so those are the PA transistors and behind those are the uh, low pass filter. In this case, band spe specific for 20 meters in my case. And this is left out here. I, there's no such thing. I uh, hardwired it to the BNC jack and made myself external uh, PCB 
where I can plug in different uh, low pass filters. This is how I solved it right now. Uh, in future, we plan, uh, I'm in contact with Guido PE1 NNZ. Uh, we plan to switch them externally, but this is a starting point for multiband operation. In my case, I have here a 40 meter low pass filter. I have 20 meters and 80 meters, so as, as a starting point. So now I switched it on um, to show you how to uh, manipulate, manipulate it. Um, basically, uh, as you can see, the, the volume pot, uh, potty uh, was removed and you have three uh, operating knobs, um, left, right and center, uh, which is also rotary encoder. As you can see, when I turn it, uh, frequency is changed. If I push it, it's like almost like the original one. I can can change where to uh, where to go. Uh, if I push it down and rotate, uh, it will increase volume. Double tapping this uh, by double tapping this button, you can narrow down the filter, the CW filter. Those are integrated into the um, DSP functions of the receiving part, which is really great. Uh, not only one filter, like at Hans project, uh, but you can narrow them down or widen them as you need it. Uh, right now, only one pitch is available. That's a little bummer, but uh, Guido is also uh, already working on it. Uh, how to how to make a filter pitch setting uh, a, a setting available, uh, which allows you to adjust pitch and uh, shifting the filters uh, with it, the the middle of the filters according to your selected pitch. That that is uh, there is work in progress right now. All right, let's listen to a signal. And let's show you the uh, the DSP filters. Sounds digital but clean, as you can see. All right. Um, gonna put volume down um, show you the menu by pressing the left button as you can see the first uh, menu uh, point is uh, volume uh, which can be controlled over shortcut by pushing and rotating um, mode CW uh, interesting <laughs> because he implemented AM FM and as the mod uh, modification name uh, already told you, uh, LSB, USB, which is SSB. So now I'm back in CW. Um, now, if you push the button again, you're back. And I have to re-push the button to scroll uh, through the menu. Now you can see the filter bandwidth can be adjusted here too. Um, you can select band, uh, which I already told you. Uh, this is a great feature. By the way, this also can be done by double tapping the uh, center button. You, you change the, the band. Uh, tune rate. Yeah, this is by uh, single pressing uh, the, the center button. You can scroll through that too. Now we have uh, AGC. That's an interesting thing. Uh, this is the, the main issue I'm missing at Hans's original QCX circuit. You do not have AGC. There's no, no kind of... Uh, dynamic range limitation or um, so if you using the original QCX with headphones <laughs> you got to be really careful if you listening to a weak signal and a strong signal comes by it's 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 a pain a real pain so I was mainly interested in that modification because of the HCC feature which actually does work you can switch it on or off like you know but 
also I have to mention there's work in progress. Uh, the dynamic range is not that great at this time. All right. Uh, noise reduction. There's a noise, noise reduction feature. Maybe we can um, show it uh, with an example. Let me turn up the volume so we have a signal. Oh, come on. That's a bug. <laughs> So, noise is gone, but you, you have to put volume up now. Alright. It's not quite what you would expect, uh, because uh, Guido had uh, mainly SSB in mind when implementing this, but since we're in contact now, I'm trying to convince him to think about us as CW guys. Right, let's move on. I'm turning volume down again, I'm going to the menu again, and switching off noise reduction. All right, next thing, um, attenuator. He has some uh, software attenuators built in. You can uh, limit your input. What this next feature does is secondary attenuator. What this does, I don't know. I have to ask him again. S meters, there you have uh, some, some options. You can uh, either have the S value um, shown directly in the display which I have right now or you can simply um, have uh, some some bars shown uh, you can even measure uh, off you can select it off yes and you have a DBM I prefer this one so let's go on the menu CW decoder it is implemented as a um, Experimental feature right now, but it right now it, it uh, leads to some nasty noise uh, on top of the CW uh, tone. I can show you. All right, he changed it. <laughs> I will test this again. You have CW offset, but right now this is a simply adjustment uh, thing. It it does not uh, go through all the the software right now. Um, Vox function, yeah, Vox level, Mox, SSB stuff. Uh, transmit drive, I think you can adjust the output power th this way. Uh, it, uh, menu point 8.1, you do your uh, reference oscillator calibration, so you're on frequency. Right, um, next I wanted to show you that SSB actually does work and how it sounds. Give me a second. Right now I'm turning through the SSB portion of the band. This is uh, how SSP sounds with the QCX SSP modification. You have also some filter options. And we could also apply noise reduction here. Let's try this. Change mode, sorry.
So, but as you can see, it does work. Um, it needs a lot of work still. Uh, work is in progress, but I only can encourage to try this. This is really fun. And the whole idea about it is, uh, yeah, doing stuff that never has been done before. And imagine that, it's a multi-band capable 5 watt transceiver um, <laughs> with uh, all mode capabilities. And the best um, for the rest, uh, the best uh, is that in receive it only uh, needs 55 milliamps uh, of current. On receive and uh, transmit of course you you have uh, to generate some power so it is in the yeah three to five hundred six hundred milliamp uh, range depending on the power you are putting out right that's uh, enough for this time and see you next time bye bye